In this video, we'll look at the equation for SNSO4 plus H2O. This is tin 2 sulfate plus water. So we'll take solid tin 2 sulfate. Let's put a little S out here for a solid and put that and put that in liquid water. So the question is when we put this tin 2 sulfate in water, what happens? We know that tin, that's a metal, and the sulfate, that SO4, that's a group of nonmetals. So this is an ionic compound and often they're soluble in water. But let's check the solubility rules. We're looking either for the tin 2 ion or sulfate ion. If we go down, most sulfates are soluble in water with some exceptions. Tin is not one of the exceptions. So this tin 2 sulfate, soluble in water. So when we have tin 2 sulfate, it'll break apart into its ions. The sulfate ion, the whole thing, 2 minus. Good one to remember. That means the tin, that has to be 2 plus. So we'll have our tin 2 ion, SN2 plus, and then we'll have that sulfate ion, SO4 2 minus. Since these are dissolved in the water here, let's put AQ for aqueous after them. That means they're dissolved in water. Sometimes you'll see the water placed above the arrow. And you might even see the water written again in the products. But since we have aqueous, that means these are dissolved in water. I don't write water again on this side. So that's the equation for tin 2 sulfate plus water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.